What's up, P Nation? We're in Bangkok. We've been here for a while. It's our second visit to Bangkok. We've had many questions asking, how expensive is Bangkok? So here we are today to show you how expensive Bangkok can be in one day. of Bangkok is that even if you are on a budget, you can get relatively nice accommodation for very little. So if you're here trying to be a budget traveler, mm -hmm. you can do that. You can get the cheapest meals, you can do you can the stay cheapest. You can a night in a hostel. You could do anything. However, if you're trying to go a little bit nicer, it's still relatively cheap, which is really nice for everyone. I mean, if you're like a budget traveler like us, or if you're trying to go lap of luxury, you can do it here in Bangkok and it'll still be cheap. So now we're gonna take a look at the currency between US and Thai baht. So one US dollar is approximately 32 Thai baht. Five dollars is approximately 160 Thai baht. And ten dollars is about 320. So nothing really costs more than like 200 baht anywhere in any situation other than when you're getting grabs. So you never even reach $10 on most exchanges if you're buying like food, water, anything. So like we said before, this is our second time here in Bangkok. The first time we were here, we spent $22 a night. That comes to about 700 baht. Now we have a few stipulations when we look for accommodation. It has to have its own bathroom, and it has to have air conditioning. And on the plus side, the first time we ever stayed here, it was a huge room, we had two big beds, great big bathroom, probably one of the biggest bathrooms we've ever had while in Southeast Asia, and our own balcony, so we had a few. This is our second time here in Bangkok, we're spending $19 a night, so that comes to approximately 600 baht. However, this time we are on Khao San Road, a major tourist area in Bangkok, right next to like Wat Pho, all the tourist attractions, it's all right here, the nightlife, everything. We went a little bit lower on our like what we expected from accommodation because it can be more expensive to be here. However, we kept to our two stipulations, has to have our own bathroom, and has to have some wicked AC. Okay, so now the transportation. As you can see behind me, there are a lot of tuk-tuks in Bangkok. However, they're all waiting to rip you off. Even if you feel like you negotiate a great price like we did, it is not a good price. There are actually signs posted in many hotels saying do not take tuk-tuks because they will charge you way too much. Go for Grab or a private taxi instead. seeing all the temples on the river, getting a close-up view of everything that you really can't see from far away. It's really, really nice, and the boats are very nice as well. And it's efficient. So, we had fun doing that, but you can do so many more things in Bangkok. It's really like a, a tourist city. They have tons to do, museums, tons of temples, lots of food. You can really have fun here. So now we're heading to 7-Eleven to show you some prices on snacks, conveniences, water, other essentials. Okay, if you're really trying to save money, you can definitely live off of ramen, like most people do in some countries. 
Here it's only 18 to 15, some are even 25, depending on how much you want. Keep in mind, in this segment, we're in a 7-Eleven and a really touristy section, so things and prices are a little inflated. We never miss an opportunity to find some really unique Lay's potato chip flavors. This is, these are both new to us, salted egg flavor and icy lemon flavor. What? The 7-Eleven brand water bottle is always 13 baht. They run out of those, but this one's 14. Iced coffee is 12 to 8. Iced tea is 25. Sodas will cost you 12 to 15. My favorite protein snack slash pick me up is all the peanuts is only 10. Pro tip. If you're in Thailand, you need to get barbecue flavor coated peanuts. They are amazing. If you're back home from Thailand, you definitely want to check this out. They have all these different varieties of like toast. So it's pretty much like a sandwich with like ham or cheese or chicken or pork or spinach. And you give it to them, you pay for it, and then they'll like put it in a waffle press and it comes out all toasty. Moving on to candy, a candy bar will cost you between 20 and 35. You can find items for way cheaper in bigger grocery stores, but usually if you're backpacking, 7-Eleven is like your deal. You can get shampoo for like 40 to 30, depending on where you are. Detergent, a must for doing laundry, 65. True essentials, you can't really run out of this. Most hotels offer it, but you might have to buy some. Cold towel will cost you 12, you can put it all, oh my gosh. It's really hot in Thailand, if I ever told you that. It's 34 to 38 degrees all the time. Okay, we got our pre-dinner drinks, and now it's time to find some dinner. Okay, so as you can see, there are many options. Like I said before, tuk tuk is not a good idea, but in the bag, I don't know if you can spot that, but it's a bus. They're super rickety, but they will get you where you need to go, and they are less than 50 cents to ride. Okay, so now on to food. Street food is always the cheapest option. It might not be the best bet for your tummy, but places like this are everywhere. Pad Thai is 30 to 50 baht, depending on if you want egg or chicken. And then roti, which is right next to it, which is a banana pancake everyone loves to get here, is 40 to 60, depending on if you want Nutella on it, some crunchy sprinkles, just it's up to you. So depending on where you are, Fruit smoothies are the way to go. They can be like 30 baht, which is a dollar, or they can range from like 30 to 60, sometimes 70, depending on like if you want to add a bunch of different fruit in there. But if you're here and you're on a budget, definitely look for that 30 to 40 price range. That is the best. Yeah. So we're back, the one we showed you earlier, we are definitely getting a banana Nutella roti. Thank you. So, we got a smoothie at this place because the dog here is really, really cute. Here are some prices if you actually eat at a restaurant and not street food. So like we said, street food pad thai is 40, here it's 60. We pay 20 to sit down. Some places it won't be this much, but it just depends on how nice the place is. Curries will usually cost you 60 to 70, sometimes 80 in the very touristy sections, but you can find it much cheaper on the street. So here's a glimpse into what breakfast will cost you if you actually sit down and eat it. Like we said before, 7-Eleven toast is always going to be 35. The breakfast here seems to be around 35 to 60. Okay, so we have sold out to touristy restaurants. Here's some prices. Like we said before, most things are 40 to 60. Some better meats will cost you 70 to 80. Like seafood here is 90. Cow soy, obviously we got it. Chicken cow soy is 70, so that's actually a pretty good price. And our absolute favorite, panning curry chicken, also 70. Something we don't get often, but it's really good. Stir fried cashews with chicken and rice. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. Try the cashew nut chicken, it looks so good. cow soy it's basically a creamy broth soup if you watch any of our vlogs you will know this is one of our favorites here they don't have mustard greens with it but it still looks very good okay so let's see how this compares I don't know how to describe what this tastes like but the closest thing to heaven you're gonna get in Thailand Okay, so this is a recap of our one day on a budget in Bangkok. So like we said before, our hotel was only $19. Water was 50, lunch 190. You know, we did the boat ride, which is 60 baht per person each way. Mango sticky rice is 50, but in Nutella was 60. Pineapple smoothie dinner, 220. So total, it comes to 49 US dollars for one day 
two people on a budget in Bangkok. That is a great day. Okay, so now on a food. <laughs> So if you're looking for a treat on the street, hey. Gonna be late for the boat. 